Afternoon guys, welcome to another review from me, Matt, the Beauty Berserker. I hope you're having a fantastic day out there, wherever you are, whatever you're getting up to, and whatever you're doing, wherever you are in the world. And welcome to another one of my reviews. Now before we start, huge massive thank you to each and every one of you guys out there that supported me over the past couple of years, liking my videos, commenting on them, subscribing. If you haven't subscribed, please hit that subscribe button where what I'm trying to do here on my YouTube channel and over there on my Viking Beer Mat Instagram is to try and help promote and support small brands, individuals and craftsmen only. Uh, trying to show you guys that there are some amazing products still being made by craftsmen. Not everything nowadays has to be factory made in this bland, horrible, uniformed way that there are still craftsmen out there that are making some amazing products, whatever it might be, from clothing, beer products, skin products, hair products, you name it, all sorts of bits and pieces, and we need to get behind them and support them, help them and encourage them, because if we don't, they're going to give up. They're going to say, well, what was the point in us doing that? And all we're going to have left are these huge, massive brands, and let's face it, you get a shed ton of money that they can throw into promoting, marketing, and advertising their products that these smaller brands and individuals don't have because they're putting their own money into what they're doing. And more often than not, it's kind of like life or death, if you know what I mean. They put so much of their time, effort, passion, and their own money into what they're doing. That if we don't support them, it's not a viable thing for them to do. So with all the reviews that I do on my channel, stuff that I go out and buy myself, stuff that gets sent through to me. Everything I do is completely honest, always has been, always will be since day one. And everything I do and review is my own opinion and I'm completely unbiased. So if there's a reason I love a better product, I'll say why I like it. If there's a reason I don't like a product, I'll say obviously why I don't like it constructively. Also, we're now hit, well, we're in the run up now till Christmas. I'm trying to get in a lot more Christmas crafts to kind of review, help promote and support. And the first week of December, which funny enough happens to be the first week of December, I'm going to be doing a live video as my top gifts, crafts, ideas as Christmas presents for gifts. So if you'd like to get involved with that, which I'd love to hear from you guys, please send us a message over on Instagram, Viking Beard Matt over there, all one word. Send us a direct message over there. Drop a comment down below. There's a plane going over or something or other. It's a noisy thing. So I would really love to hear from you because I really want to keep this channel going and I hope everyone is enjoying what I am doing because if you are expecting flashy intros and outros and popping up graphics and stuff like that, you're not gonna get them here. Because I'm just an old bloke with an iPad in front of me, I'm uploading it once I've recorded it on my iPad, and so I don't really have the knowledge all this tech and stuff like that. This is as good as it gets. Now, I have received a package through to have a look at, see what I think of, give you guys my honest opinion. I have already unboxed this because, as you know, I'm not a massive advocate of unboxing videos. How are you supposed to know what a product's like if you haven't used it, tried it, and seen the general wear and tear of it? Uh, because the last thing I want to do is to do an unboxing review, say, wow, this looks really cool, and then it falls apart. You, you go out and buy one, see exactly the same thing. Oh, well, he was lying about that. So that is why I do pretty much unbox everything a few days before a product turns up to doing a review. This has been very kindly sent through to me from Hunter Bones, uh, which is Bear Claw Craft. That is their logo on the box. I wonder what was turning up when this arrived in the post. It was in another package, an outer envelope. I was like, someone's sending chemical weapons through because it's got that sort of hazard tape on it. But no, it wasn't as soon as I saw the logo. And the logo is pretty cool. It's kind of like your uh, celtic -y knotwork design in the form of a bear paw, which you can see a lot better. Nice packaging, by the way. Um, on the pouch, what it was that we're going to be looking at was sent through. And this is Bear Claw Crafts. Really nice logo. I'm not sure whether this yeah, it's printed on here. Nice little pouch sort of leathery suede pouch with a big thick piece of um, leather, uh, leather thong 
attached to it. Really nice. You can use it for all sorts of bits and pieces. If my head was small enough, I could use it as a nice little shower cap. But it's really nice to see when somebody makes something that they take as much pride in the packaging as they do their products themselves as opposed to it just turning up in a plastic bag or something. Because um, I am watching now a lot more when products do arrive in the post, what packaging they're using. Is it sustainable? Is it kind of eco-friendly, upcyclable, recyclable? Is it recycled? Is it plastic, etc., etc.? Because let's face it, there's so much crap in the world that we don't need more gathering around. And they're very kindly sent through a bracelet for me to have a look at, see what I think of, and give you guys my honest opinion. Now, these guys don't have a website. Everything they do is through Instagram. They don't pre-make anything whatsoever. You phone them, uh, you don't phone them up, but you send them a message, tell them what you want, and they go about making it as opposed to holding lots and lots of stock. Um, which is nice to see because then you know that you're getting kind of like a one-off piece as opposed to something that's yeah, off the rack, in the bag, send it off. So that is nice to see. All the uh, bracelets they made are completely handmade using hand tools and no electric tools. Um, this is made from bone and leather. And if you can see that, you've kind of like got cord around leather strap bracelet. Uh, with a slip knot on the back so you can tighten it and loosen it depending on how weedy your wrists are. Really nicely bound. It's got a string around it. I have worn this out and about to see what it is like to see if it falls apart because I've done that before. You go out and you buy these leather thongs and bracelets and they start unraveling and unwinding. I've got this wet several times. Plunged it underwater, dried it, plunged it underwater, dried it. I wouldn't say tested it to destruction, but I want it to last. Yeah, of course, if I sit there and pulling it, it's going to snap or it's going to break. That I expect. But just general wear and tear, I do like to see how stuff's going to perform. Because you don't want to go out, spend the money, buy something. Within a couple of days, it's knackered. As you can see, this has got a rune on it. This is the Tear or Tiwas uh, rune. Justice rune. I know it means loads of other things in the old Fadok runes, because as you know, I love my whole Viking mythology, culture, Norse mythology and everything. <coughs> the actual rune itself has been um, almost pyrographed, pyrography rafted on there. Now, the bone and the leather is 100% deer leather and deer bone, which is fine. They have been hunted. And they're not hunted with guns or anything like that. I have been informed when getting my notes together. They are purely hunted using um, kind of bow and arrows, the old traditional ways. The meat is then used to eat. Um, it's, it's a really nice, fantastic piece. As you can see, the cord actually goes through the bone itself. And I really like it. It, you can have whatever you want done on it. They do wolf head ones made sort of the actual wolf's head made out of bone. And I like this whole thing of using the meat and then something that is left afterwards, using that to create something else. And that is cool. I'm not an advocate of hunting. Let's go out and just shoot an animal for the hell, hell of shooting it. Because to me, that's pointless. And I'm not sure whether this must have been made from some form of leathery suede i'm not sure what animal it's from but again it's nice to see so yeah i'm not an advocate of yeah let's just go out and hunt animals i have no issue at all with hunting animals to eat to feed yourself um mass game shoots and stuff like that no it's, it's not my cup of tea i have a deer skull on the wall over there a fallow deer skull that you've probably seen in numerous photos and that was from a deer farm where they're all purely bred for meat as you know, venison you can eat. And so I have not a problem with that whatsoever, the fact that it was on bone. If it was just some animal viciously attacked for its bone, then that that's, I would turn around and say, no, I'm not promoting this or endorsing this whatsoever, because I have principles as well. But if you're hunting for food, you're only getting what you need for that season or to eat, and you're actually using byproducts after it, like the bones that would just often get rotten down 
and the leather to actually turn it into something. So I'm happy to wear this. Um, I believe animals have rights as much as humans do, perhaps more so because they were here before we were. But really, really nicely made, uh, especially as it's all hand carved. It's um, been hand burnt. The rune on there, I know it's a different rune. If you have it that way, uh, means injustice and getting away with stuff like that. So, depending on which way it is, who's that beeping in the driveway? Go away. Um, always have it in the up position. But absolutely stunning piece and when it comes to price on a currency converter that I've used literally five minutes before I done this review this afternoon 25 euros which is working out at 21 pound 39 UK pennies <coughs> as it stands at this time of doing the review I think it's a nice piece I'm quite I'd be quite happy to pay 21 pound 39 pence for it because it's handmade it's handcrafted it every piece is individual and the bloke knows obviously where all the product or all the raw materials come from in order to make it and it's really sturdy really well put together piece you can see all the knot work and everything it kind of holds everything in place really really nice piece really good detailing on it nice craftsmanship and it's items like this that we need to get behind and support. People that are crafting stuff, whether it's leather work, woodwork, metal work, forging stuff, jewelry work, bath bombs, candles, anybody that's out there crafting, making something, we do need to support them because if not, they're gonna not bother. If they're doing well at something, there's more chance of them teaching sons, daughters, other family members how to do it and friends so the skill gets passed on from generation to generation how it used to do in the past because um, let's face it you can go on some of these cheap online shopping massive sites I'm not going into which names because we all know which ones I'm on about and you can buy Mjolnir pendants and all sorts of different pendants but they're all homogically kind of like the same there's no passion or love or care that's gone into them literally been stamped in a machine flies out each one's exactly the same which is fine i understand that not everyone is on a budget uh not everyone has got the money if you know what i mean that can go out and afford expensive stuff which is fine i haven't to be honest pretty much 90 percent of the money that i go out and earn basically goes on bills rent food and everything so I've nothing necessarily against them doing that because it's nice to have an alternative but it is harming these craftsmen out there why would you go and spend 15 pound on a candle when you can go online to a massive shop and buy it for five pound yeah it makes good money sense to go and do that but I said I still I'm a firm believer that if you can afford to spend a little bit more money not only are you getting a good product but you're also helping somebody else as opposed to just lying massive businessmen's pockets. So there you go. But links will be down below to Hunter Bones or Beer Claw Crafts. Absolutely beautiful little piece from them. Stunning. It took around about a week to turn up. Uh, they are based in Europe. Stunning. Cannot fault it at all. And it's really been nice as well. The customer service and interaction between them and myself backwards and forwards oh we really want to know please be honest about it and it's like yeah i will be honest about it um to the point not being blunt but i will be honest if it falls apart i will be saying in the review it falls apart but as you can see nice thing as well it was quite stiff when it turned up with the leather in there but it's since been wearing it. it's got a lot more suppleness and give to it really nice piece happy to get that and i think the packaging on it as well is Excellent because you can use it for all other bits to tie, I don't know, whatever you want. Use it as a coin pouch on if you sort of do reenactment and stuff. Really, really nice little pouch. Thank you, thank you so much to Bear Claw Craft, Bear Claw Craft for sending that through. Absolutely magnificent piece. Love it to pieces. I do have another review coming up tomorrow, and then it's all the reviews done what then so i am looking at going online what's today thursday possibly tomorrow afternoon going live two or three o'clock um about the myths of beards and beard growing and what you should do what you shouldn't do do i've been asked to do this by quite a few people um 
bearing in mind I've had a bit, oh no, it's a bit scraggly this morning, I haven't really, all this afternoon, I haven't really done much to it today. Um, but I've been growing a beard now for coming up to two years. I only had it trimmed once in March of this year, due for trimming again next March. So it's literally more than a year now. Um, give or take, if you know what I mean. Uh, so yeah, the myths of growing a beard, the pitfalls, what to look out for, what not to do and stuff. Because apparently I've been asked to do that because you guys want to say it. Um, so thank you for that. Anybody out there that does need any help, promotion, support, anything whatsoever, I don't charge for what I do because I'm enjoying and I love doing that and seeing all the different things out there that people are making. Whatever it is, I do not mind. Please get in touch with me. I would love to hear from you. I hope you have a fantastic rest of the day and week if I do not see you beforehand. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for all the support. I really cannot thank you enough from the bottom of my heart. I hope you have a great afternoon and I look forward to seeing you guys tomorrow on another festive review with the Christmas tree and meet the bearded berserker. Have a great one, guys. Thank you.